Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little wedding planning video. Have I only done one wedding related video? I know I did one asking my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids, but I think that might be the only one I've done so far. I've showed you guys like little bits and pieces throughout my vlogs, but I haven't like really sat down and done a full video. So I thought this would be a really fun thing to do because I love watching these, especially while I'm planning a wedding. The first part of this is going to be an update of what we have planned. And then I think the rest of this vlog will kind of just be like little snippets of other days when I'm doing wedding planning things. But there will be more wedding videos in the future as well because I think they're fun. Let me know if you have specific videos you'd like to see as well. So as for our little update, we have been engaged for six months now. I'm still not gonna share our wedding date with you. I'm actually really glad I haven't shared my wedding date. The reason why I didn't originally was mostly just for privacy reasons. But now with all of the COVID stuff that has happened, it's just so unpredictable in terms of weddings. Like we could literally wake up on our wedding day and our whole wedding could be canceled because there may have been a spike in cases overnight and you know, maybe social gatherings have been banned. I've written some things down so I don't forget, but here are the things that we have planned so far. And if it's relevant, I'll include some photos from Pinterest of like the inspo that we have for certain things. Obviously not our exact things because a lot of the things we don't have yet or we can't see them or we won't see them till our wedding day. But if there's inspo that I can include, I will do that for you guys. So the first thing that we did plan was our venue. We are both so obsessed with our venue. It is so beautiful. We both picked two things that were really important to us that we would splurge on. And Liam's was venue and food, and mine was venue and photography slash videography. So those are the things that we've spent the most money on, and I'm really happy that we've done that actually. I love our venue, it's so beautiful, and also the catering is included in that. Our ceremony and reception are at the same place, um, so it will be really easy, and all of our photos will be taken on site there. We really didn't want to do everything DIY, like we didn't want to have to plan everything from scratch. So choosing a venue where our ceremony will be, where our reception will be, where our photos will be, where the food is already included, the drinks are already included, it just makes our lives a whole lot easier and a lot less things for us to plan. So love our venue, it is so beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Like I'm so excited to show you guys all the photos afterwards. We've also chosen our theme. If I was to describe our theme in a few words, I would say simple, clean, classic but modern like modern classic we're not having a lot of color and we're not having a lot of excessive decor or things Liam and I really love simple you can like even tell by my background like everything that I like is a lot of just simplicity I don't want to say like minimal because there's still like we still have decorations and we still have color and stuff but it's not gonna be really overwhelming it's not gonna be really intense I think that can be really, really beautiful for weddings, but it's just not our style. So I'll include some photos of what I mean by like really excessive and like extra. And then I'll include some photos of the style that we're kind of going for. We've also done a lot of the bridesmaids stuff as like a group of things. So we have the bridesmaids dresses. I've shown you the color of them before. It's like a nude champagne-y blush pink color. Originally we wanted to go with sage, but I couldn't find the right colored sage that I wanted. Um, and I'm very picky with the type of green that I wanted. And there is going to be a lot of greenery at our wedding. And I was worried that it may clash a bit having just like too much green. I've also done most of their jewelry and all the things that they will need for the day. I just need to do earrings. I think I have an idea of what I want. I'll include some photos of the type of jewelry, like vibe that I'm going for, but I haven't exactly picked one thing yet. I hope I have by the time this video has gone up, but we'll see. For jewelry, I'm doing silver and the bridesmaids will be gold. So I think that the gold will look really beautiful with the blush pink. I think that'll look really, really, really nice. And I'm going silver because my ring is silver. The necklace that I'm going to be wearing is silver. My earrings have like a silver detail to them. Also pearls, I really like pearls for both me and the bridesmaids. That's why I mean by like classic. And as for shoes, it's actually really good. My best friend Beck is engaged as well. And both Georgia and I are bridesmaids for her and her and Georgia are bridesmaids for me, which is great. And the shoes that we're gonna wear to her wedding as the bridesmaids for her, they're also gonna wear to my wedding, if that makes sense. Mostly because I literally said to them, as long as you have nude shoes, I don't care what they look like. I don't care if they're the same. I don't care if they're different. As long as they're comfortable, you can walk in them and you like them, you can get whatever you want. So I don't know if it's like official or official yet like we haven't bought the shoes yet but I'll insert a picture of the type of shoe we're going for. We've also already purchased my dress and all of my jewelry and my shoes. I'm not going to show you my dress of course because I want it to be a surprise. It's currently being made. I don't have it yet. It's 
being made to my measurements and then I may have to go get a couple alterations done on the sides to like take it in a little bit depending on if it's a little bit too big and probably hemmed a little bit according to my heel height and I'm really excited but I think I'm gonna do like a whole video about my jewelry and accessories or maybe I'll combine the bridesmaid one and my one into one video because all of my jewelry is really sentimental and really special and I'm so excited about it I've got pieces from my grandma from my mom and it all just means a lot to me so I can't wait to show you guys those pieces because I think I will show you those things before the wedding I don't mind if you guys see my jewelry and stuff and I have already shown you my shoes in a vlog but I will insert a clip of them as well and I think they are so stunning I love my shoes so much they are just from ASOS they were on sale when I bought them so I'm not sure if they still have them if they do I'll try and link them down below we've also booked our photographer and videographer that is all done looking at all of their previous work it is stunning and I can't wait for them to shoot our wedding as well. We have also decided on a cake. I will include photos of our inspo that we've sent to our cake maker. Is that a word? Cake maker? Baker? Why is everyone mowing their lawn today? So it will look kind of like these photos but not exactly the same. So as for the outside we just wanted a plain white cake like really 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 simple with a couple flowers, white flowers and some greenery. That's all we wanted. And as for the flavor, we decided to go with a vanilla cake and a vanilla bean buttercream and a white chocolate ganache in it as well, which I think will be really yum. I'm very excited about that. We have also booked our honeymoon. So originally we wanted to go to Bali, but thanks to COVID, we obviously can't do that, at least at this point. So I think we will do that eventually, but for now we have just booked an Airbnb and it's just a beautiful house and we're just gonna hang out there for about a week. We're going to two different places. We've got two different accommodations that we're going to. I'm not gonna say where just for privacy reasons, but I'm really excited for the honeymoon. I think it'll be so fun. We have also chosen all of our meals. So we had to choose our canapes, our entrees, our mains, and our dessert. So we've chosen all of those things now, which I'm really looking forward to it. The food sounds so good. Like I mentioned earlier, one of Liam's priorities was good food. And so we want to make sure that everyone just has a really good meal. So we are doing an alternate drop. We're not doing a buffet. So we did end up choosing a chicken and a beef for our main, but they're like very fancy chicken and beef and I'm very excited to eat on my wedding night. Everyone says that you like never eat your wedding meal, but I want to because it sounds so good. So Georgia, if you're watching this, make sure I eat my dinner because I'm paying a lot of money for it and I want to enjoy it. And the last thing I wanted to update you guys on is our wedding signs. So you guys know that I love doing calligraphy and stuff and I will be doing all of our own wedding signs. However, I think I'm going to make that a whole separate video. So for those of you who want to end up doing that, you can kind of follow along that video and do the same process that I did if you want to do that. I know that's not for everyone, but I'm really excited to do that. I haven't at this stage done it, but I think we're going to do a lot of wooden signs and a few acrylic slash glass signs. So we'll see how the DIYs turn out. But that's all of the little like updates of what we have done and a little insight to our themes, to our aesthetic, to our ideas. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek into it. But I think now you guys are going to see Liam and I going shopping for some wedding related things. We like this one, but do you think it's too white? Yeah. We want to go, do you care if I tell them what color we want to go for for your suit? No. And I probably want to get like the same color buttons as shoes. Yeah, so like brown. Brown, dark brown. So this is probably too light, but we like the lighter suits. We kind of want a beigey, mm. sandy color. Linen, if we can find it. Well, we'll see. We'll see what linen looks like, but linen sounds good. We're just having a look around. There's not many light colored suits, honestly. This is a, that's really nice. I really like that. It has the brown buttons too. No, I think that's a really nice color. Do I get the vest? vest? No vest. Vest. No vest. <laughs> but the pants would be nice. We definitely have to get the vest. We're not getting the vest. <laughs> you have to get the vest. We're not getting the vest. I think you should definitely wear the blue suit. Or the blue shirt underneath. <laughs> feels nice. Like, feels lighter, which is nice. Do you want to try it on? Ooh. Looking good? Yeah. Good. That looks nice. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Is it too small? Is that why you're yeah. doing that? Hello, friends. I'm here to give you a bit of an update. So, as you guys saw, Liam and I just went shopping. Honestly, we went to, like, look at a lot of stuff. We didn't plan on buying everything today but it was a really helpful shopping trip the main things we were looking for was a suit for Liam we want him to wear like a sandy beige linen-y kind of look we've had this idea of this beige linen suit for almost as long as we've been engaged and 
I'm so excited. I think it's going to look so, so good. But I didn't realize how hard it would be to find a linen-y kind of suit. We didn't end up buying anything today, and we honestly didn't find anything that was, like, perfect, but it was good to get ideas. So he wants to get one and then get it kind of tailored so um, it looks, like, perfect. And then he also showed me the shoes that he wants to get, which... I don't really know much about shoes. They're just like a brown leather and I think they're called double monks or something. They have like little buckles on them. They look really cool, but he's very excited about the shoes. We also did get his wedding band. It was actually so easy. We went in and he tried it on and he tried a few different widths. And I think we ended up going with like a five millimeter silver or like white gold band, which was so easy. So he can literally pick that up this weekend. So that's done. And I already ordered mine online. So now both of our wedding bands are done. And we also had a look for a cologne and a perfume. We found ones that we liked. Liam decided on his. I still haven't decided on mine, but I think I'm going to end up ordering them online when I do figure out what I want. I just started smelling so many different ones that they all started smelling the same. And now I feel like my nose is just full of all these perfume smells. So I'm a bit like overwhelmed. It's been a good, productive wedding shopping day. So next, I just had to pop over to Kmart to pick up a few random things. And so here's that as well. Hello friends. So I'm home from Kmart now and I picked up a bunch of the little things that we needed. Firstly, I just picked up a big storage bin. For our wedding, we've had to collect a bunch of just really random little things for months. And so I want to keep them all together. So having a big storage container like this just helps me to keep track of everything and keep it all in one spot. So I've already put everything in here, but I'll show you some of the things that I picked up today. Firstly, I grabbed this guest book. This is just plain black. I also picked up a gold Sharpie from Officeworks so that people can write messages in this. But I think I may do like some calligraphy on the front in white, just so that it looks a little bit nicer. But this cost me $8.50. And the ones that I found on Etsy are literally upwards of 50, 70, 80, hundreds of dollars, depending on how nice they are. And I'm sure they are very nice, but I just don't think I can justify spending that much on a guest book. It's just not one of our high priorities like that, but I did get this one. I'll decorate it myself, make it look a little bit more personalized and fancy. They're $8.50. Can't go wrong. They also had it in a brown color and a smaller size as well if you don't want the black. I also picked up these wax seals. These go straight into your glue gun and you just squeeze it out and stamp it with your wax stamp. I'm currently getting one made from Etsy. It literally cost me like $15. So this is such a cheap way to make your invitations look so fancy and so expensive when it's really not. I think each of these cost me like $4 and it tells you how many seals each one of these sticks can make so you know how many packs you need to get. But this is just going to be so easy and I feel like it's going to look so good. I also picked up this handheld garment steamer. I've been watching a lot of wedding planning videos and a lot of people say either they were really glad they had this on their wedding day with them or they wish they had brought one with them for the wedding day. And so I think it'll just be really handy to have either for my dress, the bridesmaids dresses, the boys suits. I don't really know but I think it'll be a really handy thing not only to have for that day but just to own in general. Also, I picked up... Heaps and heaps of packs of Polaroid film. Oh my gosh. On eBay in bulk because it's way cheaper. And these are all for our guest book. Like I said, we're having a Polaroid guest book. So if you are doing the same thing, definitely buy these on eBay. It's a lot cheaper. And lastly, I picked up three disposable cameras. I'm going to leave these in a basket on like the cards and gifts table probably. And I'm hoping that our guests will just play around with these between the ceremony and the reception while they're doing lawn games and having drinks and stuff while we're taking our photos and also during the reception, during the dancing, all of that sort of stuff as long as we can have dancing depending on COVID. I just think this will be a fun way to see our wedding day from our guests perspective. I feel like disposables are just so much fun. I really love them. So I'm really looking forward to this. Hopefully it works out well. If you're coming to my wedding, please take some photos using these. I want to see how our wedding day was from your perspective. The only thing that I really wanted to find that I couldn't seem to find at Kmart was a tray or a box to put our cards in. Ideally, I would love a glass or an acrylic box kind of thing that can just open and people can put their cards inside. I found one at Kmart, but I don't know if it's big enough. But if you guys know where I can find something very similar to this, but maybe a little bit bigger and not really expensive, please let me know. I've had a look on Amazon. I've had a look in Target. I've had a look in Kmart and $2 shops and stuff. And I haven't really been able to find something that I really love. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. But if not, I think I may end up going with like a little wooden tray or something. I found a bunch of those at Kmart, but again, I don't know if they're really big enough for what I want them to be. I also found one at Target actually that was a little bit deeper, but it's going to 
be sitting on a wooden table and I think a glass or an acrylic tray slash box would look a lot nicer. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But that's everything I picked up. And that's all I have to share with you in this little wedding planning video. If you guys want to see more planning videos like this, so maybe when we're doing some more planning with our venue, maybe when I have some dress fittings, I still have to do some more planning with flowers and things. Like if you want to see more planning videos, please let me know because I think they're so fun and they might be something I want to look back on as well. But I love you guys and I'm so happy that I get to share this journey with you and I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.